Hello, it's Aga from Marvis Artist. Today I want you to take a first look with me on 3ds Max new update 2022 version. There are some new modeling features. Let's start from testing the extrude. Let's start from creating a simple box. Let's convert it to a detable poly. When we select the polys and hold shift at the same time, we can pretty easily edit the object. But what is pretty cool here, if we select polys and with holding shift move them away from the object, it will automatically create a hole, which saves lots of time because you don't have to use other options. You just move your mouse and hold shift. I really like this feature. We can extrude the same way, which is pretty cool. Now, look what happens. They disappeared. Isn't it cool? Instead of deleting polys and bridge the edges, for instance, we can do it with one move at once. Also, we don't have to bridge polys. We can just move one poly towards another with shift and they will be automatically connected. This is pretty awesome. Okay, now let me show you one more thing. If we extrude polys forward with shift, they will be automatically welded and adjusted correctly with the object. So you can see that the polygon is automatically deleted and the vertices welded with others. I need to say it is a great improvement, especially for those who model a lot. It saves lots of time, which is always good. Ok, let's start from applying the symmetry modifier and see what is new here. Ok, so first of all, we can now add multiple axes instead of applying multiple symmetry modifiers, which is cool. Then we have a new option called Align to Faces. It will be easier to see if I leave only one axis here. With the use of this option, we can select the face to which we want to align the gizmo. So we need to only click on the polygon we want. And here it is. That's cool, but I think the big object option is even more interesting. Let me show you why. Let's create a helper. We can choose a point, for instance. I rotate it. Now let's go back to the main object and go to the symmetry modifier and choose the pick object option. I click on the point I've created. Here we go, it aligned the symmetry gizmo to the points gizmo. So we don't need to worry about the alignment too much, we can do it from the modifier's level. Slice along mirror can be handy as well. The name is pretty self-explanatory. But it's not everything yet, let me show you one more thing. Let's create the cylinder this time. Add the symmetry modifier one more time. Here we can change the type of symmetry. So before we had planar and now I choose the radial symmetry. So here we can see that we can choose between different axes. We can choose only one at the time. Anyway, we have the same options as in the planner, so align to face and pick objects. But here we can additionally choose count, and this is cool. I move the gizmo so you can see how it works better. So let's increase the number of counts. We get four objects evenly mirrored. Another cool thing is that if the objects are overlapped, thanks to the slice along the mirror option, they will be sliced and thanks to the Weld Seam option, also welded automatically. It works great. Without this option, they will overlap each other. Let's start from adding a slice modifier. Ok, 
so we can see that it's similar to the symmetry here. In 2021, we had only the slice type option here. Anyway, we can use X, Y, Z the same as in the symmetry modifier. Let me move the slice plane a bit up. I choose Z and Y for instance, and I change the slice type to remove positive. Ah, naming is different now. We can use the cap option here instead of applying an additional modifier. That's cool. We can also add material ID to the cap polys. So let's say I will choose ID2. We can test it. Turn on material editor. I choose material multisap. And I choose physical material. I copy it and change the color. Here we go, it works. However, we don't have the material on the sides. The polys have probably different IDs. We can quickly check it by adding a detailable poly. Okay, it's ID free, so we can plug the material to the slot free and all will be good. Here we go. These options can be really helpful and save some time. Let's see what else do we have there. So we can choose radial here as well. Nice. We can change the angle. Actually, it will be easier to see in the top view. options here. And also in both we additionally have automatic operate on option which is default now. Let's add the relax modifier and let's see how it works now. Okay, so we have a new preserve volume option. take a look. Okay, we can see changes in geometry, but the shape stays pretty similar. I'll turn off the option so we can see how it will look without this option. That's a big difference. Cool, I like it. Well, they also improved the smoothing performance, especially auto-smooth. They also added some rendering features, which I don't use, but I'm really happy to hear your thoughts if you're an Arnold user. They also added some viewport improvements and security features. So in general, I'm really happy with these uh, new improvements in uh, modeling modifiers. And I think that they can really speed up the workflow. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and which feature is your favorite one. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe, and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.